how to properly shape pubic hair. Let's get real about our pubes for a second. Everyone has their own flavor when it comes to what goes down there. Some like it completely bare, others like to keep it trimmed. Then there are those who only want some hair and choose to get rid of the rest. Whatever you like, just make sure it's something you have chosen for yourself. Because it's not a decision any other person should make for you. Shaving the pubic area is involved in your personal choice. When you shave the pubic area, you can decide to shave all the hair or you can shave some hair and trim the rest. Using a proper shaving technique minimizes your risk of necks, ingrown hairs and is rash. Step 1. Clip your pubic hair with a pair of small scissors. By clipping off a few inches of pubic hair, your shaving session won't be painful. Step 2. Motion the pubic hair and skin by soaking in bathtub or warm water for at least 5 minutes before shaving. Step 3. Place shaving gel onto the pubic area. Shaving gel acts as a lubricating barrier between the skin and the razor, which minimizes the risk of nicks and razor burns. Step 4. Grab a new single blade razor with your dominant hand. Step 5. Shave with the grain of the hair. For example, place the razor at the top of the pubic hair when shaving the moon's pubic or the area just below the pubic bone. Guide the razor downward towards the labia or vaginal lips. Step 6. Dip the razor in water or rinse it under water after each stroke to remove hair and shaving gel. If hair and shaving gel aren't removed, you may get an uneven shave. Step 7. Rinse your pubic area off after you are done shaving. Use cool water if desired to reduce the inflammation that shaving causes. Step 8. Smoothen 3 or 4 drops of baby oil on shaved area to prevent pimples. If your skin is inflamed after shaving, apply aloe vera cream on your skin. Thanks for watching.